That's what we're looking for. Awesome. Great, we lost them. I got a new project. Uh, this one I bought on uh, an auction. Uh, we've been chasing this car. Me and a friend of mine have known about it for years. And uh, it's not far away. I'm sure a lot of the local people will uh, know this spot. This is uh, in Union Springs. This is uh, Emmanuel Ferreira's uh, little antique shop. He ran this thing for over 20 years at least and was a pretty cool guy. Uh, not many people knew, but he had uh, some cars in the back, uh, so uh, I just happened to have bought one of them. So we're going to go explore it and see, uh, see what we got. So come on over. So actually it was two cars at the auction. There was this... 74 Corvette, uh, which is pretty well restored already, um, but that would have been too easy. I didn't want that one. I wanted this one. Uh, this uh, is a 1957 Ford Thunderbird in uh, fairly terrible condition, but uh, I think it's fixable. As you can see, it's missing the quarter panels. A um, lot of rust in the floors, but there's a lot of parts. Uh, he had been sourcing parts for a long time for this car. So we actually have some really, uh, really nice parts. So basically today, we got to start pulling stuff out and, you know, cataloging what we have, what we're missing. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty fun. Well, here it is. As you can see, the engine is out of it. Um, but the engine is right behind you. It's uh, supposedly been rebuilt, but it's been sitting for many years, so probably a little stuck up, but at least we have it. Um, this Corvette is definitely in the way. Um, sorting through some of the stuff here. Our doors. These are the key parts that the whole car basically makes it worthwhile. Is uh, these are reproduction, or not reproduction, these are OEM production Ford replacement parts. So these are uh, very hard to come by and uh, we're going to put the car back together. We definitely have to have these. Um, so it's, we got front fenders, rear quarter panels, looks like. Um, still exploring obviously what we have in here. Looks like we have some floor patch panels. That's cool. And uh, this is also awesome. These, hopefully they're still good shape, but they're re-chromed. Bumpers. He had them re-chromed and never been installed back on the car, so that's a huge to have these. Exciting. What else we find in here? Cause some piece of the interior, but it goes pretty deep. I don't even know what's in this pile. We got to dig through it all. Get it out of here. There's even an upstairs. We got to go check that out too. All sorts of stuff up here. We got always have some Christmas decorations. You can't seem to ever get away from that stuff. Uh, some exercise equipment. That's another thing you can't get away from. Here, I wonder if this is where he got the car. San Diego University Ford. That'd be cool. Anyways. Some of the stuff we're dealing with, like that's potentially very important. You know, just on the floor here, all sorts of stuff in here. That definitely doesn't go to the car, but uh, it's not really worth digging through, sorting it out at this point. We'll just take it all. 
figure it out later. Portholes and the hood. Just those little windows on the side. Oh. I was afraid we would lost them. Okay, looks like we got just about all the car parts pulled out, I think. Um, I'm gonna try to open this side door, but for now this is what we ended up with. Looks like we got uh, a lot of patch panels and repair pieces. A lot of this stuff is going to be uh, a little bit of a puzzle to see where even where the heck all this stuff goes. That's probably all floor panel patches. So, a lot of metal work involved with putting that together. So much better in daylight, doesn't it? bad <laughs> but we kind of knew that um, almost all this rear floor is crap which is what that whole box of patch panels I assume is made to fix um, you know in here these little center supports are bad <clears throat> it's really really rough so we're gonna probably have to get creative if we want to make this thing ever drive again um, but it's not something we're lacking so we start thinking about it 